Hey guys, so I wanted to share with you my thoughts on building wealth and how that is a mindset. It's a certain mindset that you should have in order to reach success, especially being a millionaire, multimillionaire, or even a billionaire. And I was reminded of this today after my training session this morning, my coach and one of my best friends uh, gave me this link to a podcast. And it was a podcast uh, from Andy Frisella. And if you guys don't know who he is, he is a successful entrepreneur and owns First Form, a supplemental company uh, worth millions and millions and millions of dollars. Uh, he's a great guy and he also has a successful podcast called Real AF and it's a really cool podcast. You should check it out. I'll probably put it down in the, con in the description box for you guys. And the podcast he shared was episode 88 and it was full frontal assault with Chad Wright and the podcast was amazing. And it was just a great reminder of the mindset. And he tells a story of not having a quitting mentality, not quitting. And his story uh, that really sticks out to me was when he talked about how he became a Navy SEAL. He's a Navy SEAL and he went into combat and just the stories he had were amazing. You should really check it out. But uh, one of the things that really stood out to me was when he talked about having a no quitting mindset. It's uh, even through Navy SEALs, uh, they found um, uh, before he went to Navy SEAL training, uh, and he just went to basic training before you get to, you know, uh, go into the Navy SEAL program. Uh, they found a cyst on his heart and that was going to stop him from even trying to become a Navy SEAL, which was a lifetime dream and goal of his. Uh, and he really had no other choice. That's what he said. He had no other choice but to uh, uh, find to see if a doctor would take out that cyst and no doctor would do it. Uh, most doctors were just telling him that th there's no way that they're going to cut him open at 19 years old to remove a benign cyst that wasn't really going to impede or affect his life. But he knew that it would impede him from going to Navy uh, to, to become a SEAL. Uh, so he kept calling and calling and calling. He was relentless in calling these doctors and one after the other said, no, I'm not gonna do surgery on you until one did. And finally he was able to uh, get that cyst removed and go on and to become a Navy SEAL. And one of the things that stood out to me as well in that story was that uh, he, he, t he, had a, he had a moment of doubt where, where it was on his way to get the surgery done and he was with his dad and, and his dad is like, am I, you know, he's like, dad, am I doing the right thing? And he said, you have no choice, son. You have no choice. And, and essentially what it was is that he, he, he let people know what his dream and his goal was and that he was going to do, do whatever it took to reach that goal of uh, becoming a Navy SEAL and fulfill a lifetime dream of his. And everybody knew it. His dad knew it and really didn't give, him, give his son a choice to have uh, any other choices. It's like basically uh, remind him of his of, of his own desire saying, hey, this is what you want to do for the rest of your life. This is your goal. I mean, you called all these doctors, uh, so you really have no choice in the matter. And he talked about his brother also um, that when he had problems with his wife, uh, his brother said, yeah, you have no choice. You have to stick this through. You have no choice. So uh, that was one of the themes that I got from the podcast that really impacted me. It's like just having this mentality of no quitting no matter what. And the people that surround you have the same mentality and keep you accountable to say, no, you're not going to quit because you're not a quitter. And, and like having that identity of like, you're not the type of person that's going to quit on things. And to me, that was the same mindset you must have in order to be successful and to, to grow wealth, uh, especially when sometimes it takes time. Uh, I know for me personally, it's been taking me quite a while, but I'm, I'm on my way. Uh, I have this motivation and this desire uh, to become extremely wealthy, to become a multimillionaire and to eventually be able to, to, to give back. And that was purpose of this channel, uh, you know, I'm set, I'm financially in a really good place, but I want to be able to share my experiences, to share my success and the things that have worked for me and the things that I've done and that have worked and that are practical and that anyone else can do it. If I can do it, anyone else can do it. I know that's cliche, but that's, that's the truth. 
Um, and that's why I want to do this YouTube channel. But back to the, the podcast, it, let, it started also making me think of uh, the, the, the book, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And if you haven't read that book, that was one of the, the books that really helped me change my mindset years and years ago uh, when I realized that that's what I was going to do. I mean, things in my life were at, adding up. Since I was a child, I knew that I wanted to become financially uh, successful, financially independent. Uh, and grow work, uh, uh, wealth to be able to then change my my family tree and the destination of my future, the future generations of my family, um, since I was really young. So that book really, really uh, played a critical part of my now success and my future success as well. And if you guys don't know who Napoleon Hill is, this guy's amazing. He wrote this book, Think, Grow Rich, right after the great depression it was like in 1937 i believe that he wrote this book and the great depression was just finishing up i believe it around 1938 so it was during this time where he had this mentality of you know i'm going to be successful i'm going to be wealthy and it's a lot of it it's how you think and he had a great mentor too uh similar to um chad in in the podcast Napoleon Hill had a mentor. He had people around him that said, hey, you're not gonna quit. You're gonna be successful. And these are the things that you need to do to get there. So he had this, 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 this mastermind, he calls it. Napoleon Hill had a mastermind group where it's like these successful people that he surrounded himself with um, to, to guide him and to keep him on, on the right course of his own success. And so, so to me, that was another, just a quick little aside is who, who are you surrounding yourself with? Who are the people that are around you? You know, are they successful? Are they at least have the same mindset as you? If you don't, you might think of, you know, not, not necessarily like getting new friends per se, but, uh, just surrounding yourself with, uh, more successful mindset of people. I mean, even if it's through YouTube, even if it's something that I can help you with is, is just being your life and you can tune in uh, into my channel and, and consume a lot of my content, which is to, to bring success uh, to you and to share the things that have made me successful so far. And then also um, watch me on the journey of me becoming even more successful. Um, that's also a great thing to do. Uh, I know I still do that. I follow certain people on YouTube uh, to continue to gain that motivation and, and, and to keep me on course uh, of, of where I want to be, uh, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now. And similar to Chad Wright, Napoleon Hill had this mindset of determination that he was going to be successful. And it's a lot of it started with his mindset. So I want to share one of my favorite chapters. It's chapter two and it's around desire. It's around desire because I think that really speaks to just the starting of getting your mindset right to be able to achieve the things that you want to achieve in life. And in chapter two, there's seven points that he makes that I want to share with with you that I hope bring some kind of value, at least give you the gist of what you may read. So it's, it's pretty cool. So the first point is to fix your mind on the exact dollar amount that you want. So again, this book, Think, Grow Rich, is all about gaining wealth and gaining money. Uh, but I think that applies to all types of goals, whether it's a fitness goal, whether it's uh, a success goal, whether whatever goal it is, if you're an athlete and you want to be go pro or you want to be a gamer and you want to be a successful YouTuber, whatever it is, uh, one of the first things in the point in chapter two of desiring it's to know what that end goal is. Is it a million dollars? Is it to have $10 million? Is it to, you know, uh, whatever it is, write it down and know exactly what it is. So you have at least a target to shoot for. So the second point is to determine exactly what it is that you're going to give in order to receive that goal, whether it's a million dollars or what have you. And I think that's very important. A lot of people only think about it's, it's, you know, I want to be a millionaire. I want to do this. I you know, I want to, whatever it is, but it's, it's just wishful thinking unless you're giving something in return, uh, you're not gonna get anywhere. And I think that's important. Giving, to me, is the key to all success and all wealth. I mean, think about giving, uh, as far as giving uh, valuable advice, or giving your time, or giving uh, 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 your, your skill set 
to whatever it is you're putting it out there and the market and their customers or the viewers or what have you are gonna give that back to you in just view times or actual money. If you, if you work for someone, you're putting in the work. Uh, if you're an athlete, you put in that work. You got to give yourself. There's a level of sacrifice that is needed in order to be successful. And as as much as you're going to willing to put in that hard work is how successful you're going to be. And the third point is to establish a definite date of when you intend to accumulate this money. So give yourself a timeline. Uh, in my opinion, it's always been working for me to give me a vague timeline. It's like in the next 10 years, in the next 20 years, in the next 30 years. Um, because if, if I, if I make it an exact date, like December 12, you know, 2023, and it become, doesn't come to pass and not, and things in life happen, uh, then, you know, I'm shooting myself in the foot. But if you give yourself at least like, you know, in the next year, in the next 12 months, in the next two or three years, uh, and giving you, give yourself some leeway for, you know, life circumstances. Uh, I think that's going to bode better for you. But the point here is to have a time, to have a date and time, because otherwise you're just going to just sit around and never act on anything. And so the fourth thing is create a definite plan. Begin at once, whether you're ready or not, and put it into practice immediately. I think that's so important, guys, because you're never going to get it just right. You just got to start, you know, you have a plan. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to, for example, for me, I started this YouTube channel, uh, to share my advice, to share what I've done, to share my successes or have you to help you in some way to add value. I know, uh, eventually it's going to go somewhere, whether it's a uh, hundred subscribers, a thousand subscribers, a million subscribers, however far I want this channel to go, which it is to be, uh, have a million subscribers at one day is have a plan. Like I plan to put out content consistently for the next one and a half to two years. And then that's my goal. That's my, my established goal. And you just have to start. None of us is perfect. We, I, don't, I still don't know what I'm doing. You know, I've, I've only done like four or five videos so far. So it's just continuing to do the process. I mean, when you first start working out, for example, you don't know what you're doing. You don't know how to curl, how to bench, you know, but you just slowly reps and reps and reps. It takes a lot of repetitions before you start to gain any strength or any momentum. Same thing with, with, with building wealth. To me, it's been a process of building wealth over time and I've seen the progress and I'm continuing to see the progress in my wealth building, but it's just going to take some time. But I just had a start. I started 15 years ago. I first started investing and I've slow process, but now I'm gaining a lot of momentum. So the fifth thing is to write out the clear and concise statement about how much you intend to make and all the details that it entails. So it's writing it down, having a plan in place. You think about architects, you ha have to write out a plan. It's an important part of building uh, a building or a house or anything like that. Uh, you have to have a plan or when you plan to go somewhere, you need a roadmap or when you want to even just some simple as baking a cake, you need all the ingredients and you have to have it written out in, in, a, in an orderly, you know, one thing, then the next thing, and has to be done a certain way in order for like, for example, a cake to come out good and right. Otherwise it might come out like mush. So it's important to write out your plan and what are the things that you're going to do to execute on that plan. And so the sixth point he makes is to then read aloud your plan in the statement that you're making about building wealth. You know, you want to have a million dollars by the time you're 40 or 50. You want to be a multimillionaire by the time you're 65. Whatever the goal is or whatever it is that you want to do, it's important that not only when you write out the plan is to then talk it out, speak it out. And in my opinion, it's, you can find on just a very small few people. Uh, I don't have a whole, uh, you know, tons of friends. I just have a very select few friends that I can find in and I speak it out. You know, I talk it out. One of the great ways is to start a YouTube channel. You just are continuing to confess what it is that you are not only doing. So that is encouraging. It's like, you know what? I, I, I am doing good. You know, I have $300,000 in the bank. I, you know, I'm about to pay off my, my house. 
uh, and I am debt free. And then communicating that, speaking it out, confirms that you're on the right path and you're doing well. Not only are you doing well, it's like, what it, what are the steps that are the next steps to you know becoming a millionaire, a multimillionaire, a billionaire, and speaking those things out. Uh, uh, out into existence. It's something very powerful about our words and what we say to ourselves and to others about who we are and who do we, who, and who we want to become. It's very important, guys. And the last point he makes is faith. Faith, according to Napoleon Hill, is the state of mind that can be induced or created by affirmations uh, about what it is that you want to accomplish. And it gives you instructions uh, through auto-suggestion. And what auto-suggestion essentially is, is this repetition mindset of what it is. And, and, and some other descriptions can talk about meditation. It's that you're, you're speaking on your breath what it is that you want to accomplish in life. And so it goes back similar to when you speak it out. And faith is just knowing. It's like you know that you know that you know that you know that this is what you're meant to do. You know that this is what you're meant to become. This is what you're meant to do uh, in the long term. Especially, especially with your intentions are right and good. Uh, my intentions for the long in the long term in the long run is to eventually uh, start a school where we focus on uh, uh, the the mind spirit. And, and body where we've got elite type of training for the body uh, when you have, because uh, it all works together, when you have your mindset, when you're being taught personal finance, how to invest, how to build your net worth, all these things is important uh, at a very young age. And thirdly, it's your spiritual development. It's like what your belief and what your faith is uh, that, that really determines your whole person. And I think that's something that I want to establish later in life. And that's, so that's really the end goal. Uh, but it's also uh, uh, living a life of giving, of giving of yourself. Like what I do here on YouTube is giving of myself. When I'm done with these YouTube uh, uh, episodes or whatever you want to call them, it, it's taxing, it's draining because I'm just like pouring out. Uh, and and it, it takes a lot to put yourself out there. Uh, to show what my, you know, uh, balances are and what I'm investing in. Uh, but if, if your goal is to give and then eventually earn so you can continue to give and give and give and give, it's, it's something that I think that could happen. Um, when you give, I think things come back to you. You, you, you reap what you sow. So this part having faith in what it is that you were meant to do and believing yourself and believing in a higher power even is i think very critical in building wealth and being successful overall whether it's mind body and spirit overall uh, in the long term so i want to share one of my favorite quotes in the entire book and i'm going to read it for you here it's a accumulation of money cannot be left to chance good fortune and luck all who have accumulated great fortunes first did a certain amount of dreaming, hoping, wishing, desiring, and planning before they acquired money. So it all starts with the mindset, guys. It goes back to your mindset. It's like you have to have this level of passion, right? But but there's got to be because because there's got to be a, a action behind the mindset. So so it's important to have that mindset, but it's this this. this that mindset that just is determination that you're going to accomplish what you set out to accomplish no matter what. There's no quitting. There's no other options. And that's all I have, you guys. So um, I hope you got something out of this. Uh, my challenge to you, my challenge to you, if you've watched this all the way through, I have a challenge for you. Now, hopefully you can you can, you, you can act on this challenge and get you started in your dreams and what it is that you want to do and in your goals. And the first challenge is to read the book. Read the book or the audio book. I have it on audio book. The second thing is I want you to start writing things down. I want you to, whatever it is that you've always had in your head and whatever it is that you've dreamt about and whatever it is that you want to accomplish, whatever it is, write it down. I want you to get a notebook, even if it's just a scrap sheet of paper and just write it down. That does a lot. You'd be surprised how much writing it down, even to yourself or in a diary, something 
it, it really does help. So those are my two challenges to you. Hopefully that helps. If you haven't subscribed yet, please think about becoming a subscriber. I would appreciate it very much. Um, I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers in the next couple months and hopefully you can help me do that. Uh, and like the video, it helps the algorithm apparently. And so I would really appreciate you liking the video, subscribing. Oh, and hitting the notification bell so anytime a new video comes up, you'll be notified. And uh, you can uh, leave some comments and let me know what you think. That's all I have. See you in the next one.